हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन आई एम विशाली की कान एंड टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फ्लोट जोन क्रिस्टल ग्रोथ मेथड वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट द ब्रिजमैन एंड जोकाल्स की क्रिस्टल ग्रोथ टेक्निक आई होप यू ऑल हैव सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज इफ नॉट यू कैन गो एंड वॉच दैम ऑल्सो सो द अल्टरनेटिव प्रोसेस टू द सी जेड प्रोसेस इज द फ्लोटिंग जोन मैथड एंड इट कैन बी यूज फॉर रिफाइनिंग और इट कैन बी यूज फॉर मैन्यूफैक्चरिंग ऑफ द सिंगल क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो वेन एवर वी हैव टू रिमूव द इम्प्योरिटीज वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू रिफाइन आर स्ट्रक्चर दैट टाइम वी कैन यूज द फ्लोट जोन मैथड प्लस इट कैन बी यूज फॉर द मैन्यूफैक्चरिंग और द क्रिस्टल ग्रोथ प्रोसेस एज वेल सो हेयर दिस इज द डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन दिस इज द आर एफ कॉइल हेयर वी हैव द सिंगल क्रिस्टल सिलीकन एंड हेयर वी हैव द पॉली क्रिस्टल इन गॉड सो वी हैव द पॉली सिलीकन इन गॉड और द पॉली क्रिस्टल फॉर्म ऑफ ई जी एस ऑल्सो सो नाउ दिस इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन दिस हीटिंग कॉइल विल बी मूविंग थ्रू आउट द लेंथ ओके सो हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव द हीटिंग कॉइल्स इट विल बी मूविंग एंड हेयर वी have the polysilicon rod so whenever heating coils are present there our silicon will be in the molten state okay so here you can see this uh, red part represents the molten silicon here at the downside we have the seed crystal okay so as soon as we are moving the coils the temperature will be changing the molten silicon will be converted into the solid silicon so if i move this upside so here you can see we have uh, this heating coil it will be continuously moving upward when it is moved upward so here we will be having lower temperature here and when the temperature comes down the melting point so it will start getting solidifying so now we are starting from the very beginning and we will be move moving upward towards the end so this is how we will be converting the full poly silicon into the single crystal silicon okay so i hope now you understood this process you can see we don't have any kind of restriction over here we didn't have any kind of restrictions in the case of cz process as well but there were some restrictions uh, in the growth process when i was using the bridgement technique the surface restrictions were there so here you can avoid the ununiformity which are present due to the restrictions on the surface so this is how we can form a very highly graded silicon so i hope now you understood this process but here you can see we have to use seed crystal this seed crystal must be in the single crystal form and it should be also in the same uh, amount of impurity that we require in the floating zone method so this seed crystal will be very costly okay so this is the drawback here so now here you can see we don't uh, require any kind of quartz crucible as well as the hot graphite container that we were using in the cz process it will be having very low amount of impurity concentration and this is the reason it will be used very effectively in the power devices okay so in the cz silicon we will be having more amount of impurity that i have already talked about in the limitations the oxygen the carbon oxygen can be beneficial to us but the carbon will be only degrading the performance of our uh, ic only so the concentration of light impurities such as carbon and oxygen are extremely extremely low when i am using the floating zone crystal growth and nitrogen is helping to control the micro defects and also it will be bringing an improvement in the mechanical strength of the wafer and this is intentionally added because the impurity concentration will be very less and the nitrogen concentration will be very less as nitrogen nitrogen has some advantages nitrogen is really inert it will not be reacting uh, very easily in the fabrication process it is safe to have nitrogen in the substrate so nitrogen we can add intentionally for the mechanical strength and uh, it will be controlling the micro defects as well 
the dopant concentration in the final crystal will be homogeneous okay so in the case of cz technique we cannot have the homogeneous dopant concentration i was telling you that in the melt we have higher amount of impurities dopants will also acting like an impurities and in the melt we will be high, having higher impurities in the solid in got we will be having lesser impurities plus these are non homogeneous in the case of floating zone uh, crystals we have homogeneous uh, impurities present in the ingot okay and it, these are also manageable and it will be allowing very high ohmic wafer production as well as wafer with a very narrow electrical resistivity as well so whatever type of device we want we can manufacture it okay we can control the dopant and this is how we can easily control all of the electronic properties and this control is very high if i'm talking about the floating zone method now i hope you understood why so it is good for solar cell power electronic devices like thyristors rectifiers and uh, the devices that uses the entire volume of the wafer and not just the thin surface layer okay so for all of these floating zone crystal growth technique is used it will not allow the large silicon wafer like in the case of cz and this will be enhancing the cost in the uh, video where i was talking about the profit made by the vlsi industry i told you that if i have the larger wafers there i can manufacture the more number of dies okay so this is how if i have larger wafer size it will be making more profits this is how the floating zone technique will be more costly and the radial distribution of the dopants in fz wafer is not as uniform as in the cz wafer okay so i have uh, told you in the radial uh, distribution of the dopants if i talk about the uh, vertical distribution of the dopant that will be uniform but radial distribution is not uniform so this is a drawback here so there is the requirement for a uniform crack free cylindrical feed rod a cost premium 100% or more is associated with such poly rods so these are very costly and these are also enhancing the cost of the floating zone crystal growth technique so the crystals that are more expensive and have very low oxygen and carbon are not so, uh, suitable for majority of silicon ic technology and this is the reason in the last video i was telling you that we have for ic technology we have cz crystal growth technique at the uh, most of the commercial applications are revolved around the cz crystal growth technique only and at the present time fz silicon is used for premium high efficiency cell applications and cz silicon is used for higher volume low cost applications okay so i hope now you understood the difference really well so you can see here uh, this is the zone so this is how we we will be having the liquid at the interface so this is the solid and this is the liquid at the interface in the float zone process dopants and other impurities are rejected by regrowing silicon crystal and this is how we can uh, remove the impurities at the next level also we can again perform this uh, floating zone technique and we can again remove the impurities impurities will be tending to stay in the liquid and when we are moving the liquid upside the impurities will be moving upside so this is how impurities are moving in the one particular direction and this if i have the impurities at the end i can just cut out the end and we can have the refined silicon ingot by this process so we can have multiple passes and this is how we can get more and more refining so this is uh, the better view of this uh, floating zone method so here you can see this is my uh, uh, traveling rf coil this will travel uh, in the upward direction so here you can see we have the inert gas which is coming inside so here you can see we have the seed crystal at the downside and this seed crystal will be acting as the starting material 
so now here we have gas outing as well so this is how our floating zone technique will be happening so this is the comparison of the two technique i have told you cz is a cheaper technique it is the most popular technique for silicon fabrication we can have the larger wafer size and we will be using the reusable materials over here in the floating zone we have the pure silicon crystal we don't have the crucible and it is more expensive we will be having the smaller wafer size it is used for the power devices mainly so these are the references i hope you understood each and everything that i have discussed if you still have any kind of doubt you can reach out to me or you can put the doubt in the comment i will be trying to revert as soon as possible i hope you like this video if you like it you can share it with your friends subscribe the video and you can also push the like button thank you so much